I feel like, you know, we grew up in Philly. So growing up here in America, we're not really, uh, a lot of people around us don't really know about their culture. Unfortunately, a lot of that has gotten lost. Yeah, you know about the salsa and you know about the musicians, you know, the popular stuff, but not a lot of people really know like their history, their activists. Hi, my name is Vanessa Vega, uh, also known as V Vega, and I'm a street artist from Philly. My name is Lily Vega, and I am the co-creator of Taina Sisters. Taina Sisters. Yes. What is the meaning behind Taina Sisters? Taina Sisters is basically uh, originates from Taino, the indigenous people that lived in Puerto Rico. It's an art collective with me and my sister. We're really in tune with our culture, and we like to connect our culture to our art. Is it, you got paper towel on there or shirts? So our paintings, murals, jewelry, you know, all of our creations. I started off as like a, a street artist. I actually used to get inspired and still do um, from my surroundings. Yeah, there's certain things I can do and certain things I gotta like look at in pictures. So a lot of my art is like uh, sneaker based and like street based. So I was just like, well, let me just add a moon and you know, this made it glow. I, I just, I come up with some random stuff sometimes. I, it's kind of like a scatter in my head and I just <laughs> make it all come together somehow. Was there any formal training or? No, to be honest, like I learned a lot of my stuff from just either watching other people, you know, seeing some things on YouTube or just trying it out. You know, whatever creativity comes to mind, we'll just, you know, make it up. <laughs> I've made them with either resin or polymer clay. Um, so a lot of these had the symbolism of some of the Taino culture. So you see here like the Taino suns, the little sculptures. We have here the vejigantes. Why is it so important for you guys to make sure that your culture is shown through your artwork? Being in school, learning through the history books, you know, we didn't really learn a lot about, you know, who we were. You know, I decided to kind of look into myself and look into like, dive into my roots and, and start researching. Yo, how dope would this be if I could just add this to my art and kind of teach other people about our culture? People come up to us at our shows and they're like, oh, you know, what's this or what is this? Can you explain this to me? So that they can also kind of, to inspire them to go and uh, look into themselves as well. It's very important because we've taught a lot of people, you know, some things. Uh, me and my sister, we're both individually like different uh, artists and have two completely different styles. You know, she has the urban art and I've always done more of like fine art, like anatomy, still life, things like that. We definitely build off of each other and work together. What we do is when we combine, that's usually when we do the mo most of the cultural stuff. We don't look at it as a rivalry. Like sometimes if I feel that I'm lacking in an area or like maybe I'm not seeing it right, I'll be like, hey, can you look at this? And then sometimes we just improvising and we're just like, all right, like, let's just do it. We actually lost our father a little bit more than 20 years ago to suicide. And that was another thing that has always driven us. You'll see it in the mural behind you where it says, you know, hope and faith and belief. You know, we want to bring people a bit of an escape from the everyday world. I mean, it means a lot, you know? I feel like that's, that's what life is about. It's about finding yourself, becoming wiser as you go, evolving. Every day you're seeing less and less of, you know, what we grew up with. And so for me to be able to paint on a wall there where I grew up and, and leave some of my roots behind, you know, that to me was, it meant everything.